problem of used syringes littering city streets. A new report shows that in San Francisco, more than 150,000 used syringes are discarded in public places every month. The city does have a needle exchange program that distributes about 400,000 syringes a month. The aim is to try and reduce health risks. Santa Cruz County also has a needle exchange program that supporters say has been a success. But like San Francisco, the county has also struggled with syringe issues over the past several years. Action News reporter Christopher Salas is live in Santa Cruz with more on our top story. And I spoke with a group of volunteers that pick up needles here in the county, but they tell me the problem doesn't seem to be getting better. We're finding an average of about 250 needles in public, use syringes in public places on a monthly basis. Take Back Santa Cruz says they have now collected over 17,000 syringes in the past five years. And during that time, there's been 12 injuries, including six to children. There are needles in the community. We acknowledge that. But Hoppin says the county is doing more than anywhere else in the state to tackle the problem. They've set up disposal boxes throughout the county, required local pharmacies to take in used needles, and set up a countywide exchange program. We have an addiction problem. People who are addicted to drugs will find needles one way or the other, whether we give them to them or not. And we feel it's better from a public health standpoint to give them access to clean needles than have them reuse dirty needles. Hoppin says the county gives out 300,000 needles each year. And we collect more than that because we implemented a one for one exchange. But that's where Take Back Santa Cruz says they have a problem. Contrary to, to common opinion, we are not against a needle exchange. The county currently does not have a true one-to-one -one exchange. It's too dangerous for their employees to physically handle and count needles, that, uh, used syringes that are being turned in. Hoppin says people bring syringes into safe containers and the number of syringes counted depends on the weight. Um, that is an accurate way to count the needles. The, the weights we use are fairly precise, and so we have a good idea that we are taking in more than we give out. But Take Back Santa Cruz says they aren't buying those numbers. I don't know what's in those containers. They, it could be syringes. It could be rocks, for all we know. So I, I really don't feel like we're getting a real clear picture from the county health services as, as to what's really going on. Now some positive news. The county tells me they have a 250% increase of people coming to their facilities and looking for treatment. Dan, Aaron. All right, Christopher, thank you. County says it costs less than $100,000 a year to administer the needle exchange program.